Welcome back to another Montreal Canadian Podcast Nation. Something like that. I have Podcast Nation. I have Nation Podcast on the fun Friday night on the great March 22nd, 2024. A little bit late this morning here in Thailand. A beautiful morning, but uh, a lot of things happening. Go bed late and then uh, confusing with the time. It's just difficult to go back with the saving time for me in Thailand. I hate the 13 hours difference. I like the 12. It's like 7, it's 7. It's 8, it's 8. Right now it's like, it's 8, it's 9 over there. It's 10 here, it's 11 over there. Anyway, complicated, but I'm not going to complain because tonight we're going to talk about the Montreal Canadian and the most important things, the subject of the night uh, is all about uh, why the player I would playing in Montreal, but also in Canada. I could add this inside the subject. It's just like it was a bit too long uh, to put this on the title of the thumbnail. But uh, the yeah, reason behind the player does not want to play in Montreal in any other location in Canada. And I put maybe the fans. I put maybe the media. Maybe the tax. And maybe some player does not want to play around uh, uh, or you really want to leave after a couple of years in Canada. We talk about Patrick Arroy, or we talk about, example, uh, maybe not Philippe Dano, but Matthew Katschuk, example, uh, Johnny Goudreau, uh, Anne Finn, and I can go all the way. I'm just targeting the Calgary Flame right now, but I'm sure a player from Toronto, uh, I will give you an example, Ryan O'Reilly. Um, and I can go all the way like this tonight. So, going to have it's a subject, is really. I feel it's really uh, hot topics right now around the, in Canada. And I think it will be good uh, to talk about this on the Friday night. Where The Friday night, guys, is we all just sit together. And it will happen and I will be dead. But remember, some of you are younger and going to be, be late for 20 more years. Uh, one day, the YouTube channel is going to be live together on the same location. What are you talking about? In the future... Uh, you're going to have an 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 opportunity to be on the on the main on the meta whatever the quest whatever it is would we'll be on the same location together. It's really weird to take that that way, but if you read the future of what could happen in the next 15 years, but we're going to be on the same location together. You're going to have an opportunity to watch the game live uh, at some point. It's really weird to talk this way, but uh, it's fun Friday, so why not to talk that way? Anyhow, um, I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to make sure you uh, post comments about this uh, live. And I'm going to try to fly this at least for the 90 minutes. Until then, uh, we'll see um, at the end. We're going to talk about the NHL uh, game prediction tomorrow. Um, the bus... It's uh, not full tonight, but the jail, a lot of people go to jail this weekend. So it um, will be interesting. And about my fantasy hockey, guys, uh, congratulations for Peters. I'm out uh, with 15 points behind. He deserved to win. the, And I hope uh, he's going to win all the way to the end. And uh, finally, going to do a French quiz uh, at the end of the show. So that's what's happening, guys, on this Friday night. Don't forget to click on the likes. You know what you, how this works. And uh, I think it will be interesting to sharing our opinion with respect at the end of the day. There will be uh, no game tomorrow uh, for me. There will be a, a night off uh, of hockey. If something changes, but maybe Edmonton, uh, Toronto, but it looks like I'm going to skip that game. I will let uh, take a day off. I'll be back Sunday for the game, Seattle, Montreal Canadian. For some reason, the, uh, it's very quiet this week on the viewers and on different location about the YouTube channel. So it's really uh, strange. Uh, I don't know uh, what's happening, but um, it is what it is at the end of the day. So we'll see what we got in the chat, guys. Uh, uh, first of all, IDP is in the house, is in the house uh, tonight. Uh, IDP mentioned about maybe the language. It could be uh, a team and players. Uh, maybe a reason behind that. Uh, I will say to you the language is very important if I'm not trial for the head coach. Uh, but uh, it could be that way. What about my friend uh, Zef Lacave is in the house uh, tonight. Zef, thanks to be with us. Uh, thanks for the likes we just got. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, Zef will always be a great support of the Hockey Nation uh, supporter. Text all in Canada, not just uh, in Montreal, uh, the language issue. 
I've never been bothered with them to 124 get uh, it's more and it's an issue American uh, have a lot to uh, Spanish now and uh, European or uh, use language uh, I got many good uh, chef uh, want to friends uh, uh, to learn uh, cooking and the language even Gordon Ramsay learn French so stop the excuse Jeff uh, so for him is maybe not an excuse about the language Rick Bengal is in the house tonight. Welcome back, Rick. Thanks for being with us. Uh, tax, tax, tax. Uh, then language is uh, a politic. Uh, all the same reason. Uh, I have not moved back uh, to my home province. Uh, Rick, you talk about that one over there. I uh, apologize, guys. I put this right here. It was one of my subjects tonight. Uh, it's weird to start that way. I apologize for that one. Uh, what is about uh, this one? Uh, we'll see what I got here. Here you go. Abnation Friday night. Uh, uh, Mr. Abnation, uh, abstinent if she don't want to overpay, so we have three star or home contract. Uh, it's a topic they can turn in to be rolled right back on the base. Uh, abstinent, the answer is easy. To American, we are small at time uh, compared to our uh, my New York. Uh, New York guys cannot go English school, uh, they still have to overpay to start it on two even without the school thinking. About that, uh, Mr. Abinishan, welcome back in the house. Do you think uh, rich people go to the store? Ready Walkman is in the house. Uh, thanks be with us, uh, Mr. Rendy. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, Mr. Enartap knocked the door tonight. Thanks to be with our Canadian show. Uh, about that, uh, Nicola de Gobi Bonno. Uh, welcome in the house, Nicola. Hopefully you have a good week, sir. Uh, I don't know. Spring break, uh, Nicola? C'est quand uh, ta semaine de vacances, uh, Mr. Nicola? Uh, Yann is in the house tonight. Uh, welcome back in the house. Zegress like Montreal, uh, Benation. William McClary, good evening. Uh, William from Ontario is in the house tonight. Uh, some people who watch the game Laval Rocket, I don't know the score, did not look about anything about the Laval Rocket. Uh, David Rebecca played tonight for the Montreal Canadian. And uh, we have maybe some kind of NCAA. Uh, you welcome, Jordan. Very nice guys. Uh, Jordan, guys, Jordan Tyler will always be kind to the channel. Um, very nice. Uh, Jordan, always kind of words to the channel. So, really, uh, really appreciate uh, Mr. Uh, Jordan and Mr. Nartap, like I mentioned, the co host of the weekly recap and the locker room next week, guys. Monday, we're going to do re the weekly recap. Uh, and not Sunday, because Sunday Montreal play. And then we're going to have Michael DeVillano in the house Monday night uh, talking about this. So that night will be a little bit more off. I'll be there, but I will be very quiet. It will be more about uh, Ma Michael and the rest of the crew uh, for that one. Uh, Dan Asham is in the house tonight. Very quiet game. Uh, very quiet, guys, in NHL tonight. We have only three games, uh, four games. Uh, the Avalanche just started the game again. The Columbus Blue Jacket. Uh, the Stars still won one. The game a little bit entertaining between the Carolina Hurricane and the Capitals, Washington Capitals, 4-3. Uh, Ovechkin scored his 24 goal of the year, guys. Uh, Ovechkin is on the hot streak again. Uh, for that, Dan Hashem with Colette. Uh, welcome back, both of you. Hopefully, you're doing well, Dan. Uh, thanks to be with our Kenny Shiller Show from Winnipeg. Uh, uh, Rick Bengal, like I mentioned to you, is back in the house uh, tonight. Uh, Rick, uh, what about our friend Bob's? Uh, Bob, we miss you, I think, uh, last night. Hopefully, doing well, Bob's. Uh, and uh, guys, the show, the Friday night, is about you. So bring it on. Bring question. We talk about anything. And it's not only about Montreal Canadian. Talk about the, the NHL, the, the NHL playoff starting. I can talk about the GM. I try to cover every news around the NHL. Tom Wilson, six-game suspension, and everything like that. Are you agree, disagree? Uh, do you expect uh, the Flyers stay all the way to the end? Uh, what about Tortola versus Sean Couturier? Uh, what about the sixth last straight for the New York Islanders? Patrick Orwell, many people want him. What about the Mickey Mouse, Ottawa Senator? What a mess in Ottawa right now. Uh, and I can go all the way. Talk about Vancouver Canucks, the game. Going to talk about the game. Vancouver Canucks, uh, yesterday again, the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, really great game for the Vancouver Canucks. I was impressed by this team last night again, the Montreal Canadiens. And I can go all the way this way, guys. It's a time to talking about everything you want to about that. Uh, 
Uh, and after circle, I just but I have to uh, disagree with you on this topic. Uh, the majesty, the player would love to play in Canada. Um, it's funny because I think if you took around the NHL, typically they won't tell you. Behind the door, they will tell you. Uh, that's the reason Matthew Katsuk leave the Calgary Flames. That's the reason many players refuse to have a contract or negotiation in Canada. Uh, and I can go all the way like this. Uh, and, 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 and again, I'm not talking about 90% of the players, but I'm talking if your players want to have a, a you know, and it can go with French Canadian players. Uh, this is a yeah, another way. It's rare a player like a love to play in Montreal. It's rare. When I said that, uh, they're coming from other locations, right? You, you talk about this one. Super right? chat. Well, Rick Van Gogh uh, with a super chat tonight. Uh, this is about uh, the Jeff, uh, the Yoray Sakaski. Rick still continues to deliver. Rick Bengal. Thanks so much, my friend, um, uh, Mr. Um, Rick Bengal. Uh, IDP back in the house at the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, last, uh, got destroyed last night again in Colorado of an inch, I believe. Uh, about that, uh, Bob's uh, Rick, uh, this is a great Jordan. Patrick Le White, uh, not that, folks. Uh, Bet on the night, uh, credit to win the first pair. This is the Kraken tonight, three versus one. Uh, Kraken uh, lost a big uh, game last night. Again, the biggest goal tonight, and that would give the biggest goal tonight, guys. Oof, some some uh, good uh, hope uh, to stay in the playoff uh, last night uh, on that one. Uh, Mr. Uh, um, Zef uh, Rick, uh, Rick uh, Zef. Uh, uh, Jeff Petrie uh, been sent to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Save him seven hundred thousand. That's another reason why he said they want to play Montreal. That's another plus left the Montreal Canadian, and and he you know that's the reason that part. Uh, click on the like. Uh, striker UT said Ray Barker score a goal. Uh, wow. Uh, there we go. Hopefully JC Lajoie watch the game. Uh, the Dodgers, the Astros, because they can win there. Remember when the Abs signed to 40 and Manson a couple of years ago about that. So what Patrick said, uh, a reason behind is the team, what they look like. And this is the reason I put the picture of Patrick or what behind that uh, on the end. is like if Montreal was a solid container in NHL, right? So I'm talking about a top 10 in NHL. And... Uh, they not only one year. It's like they they constantly winning. Uh, do you do you think that we attract more the players to come to Montreal Canadian? That's a good subject about that. Uh, Run with Kings in the house tonight. Thanks for all the likes we did so far. We appreciate a lot. Therefore, you contribute uh, on that way. Moderator, the Arkansas show. Run, hopefully doing well. Uh, what about Willie Snyder? Happy Friday. Hopefully, they are going to make it at eight uh, on the road tonight. Uh, Willie Snyder. Uh, the Colorado on fire and out. Send a traded line, guys. Uh, this may be the best team in NHL. I know Nashville Predator, but one of the best turnaround send. They got a traded line. They had a great piece of the puzzle. And sometimes uh, you get out the dead wood around the team. And uh, it's happening with the Colorado Avalanche. They gave away a Ren Owenson uh, and then send that. Uh, they bring Casey Middlestad. They pay the price. They trade at, at Biram, Biram, uh, Baron Biram, but they uh, send that. Uh, the Colorado are looking great. Uh, we add a uh, training and Sean Walker. So uh, we have some team uh, so are really aggressive on the traded line. Uh, Joe Sakic did in the, in the past. Now the GM is McFerlin and uh, is uh, in doing this. Well, that. Uh, uh, money aside, can we approximate 42% of the plot that are Canadian? They have uh, expressed uh, to be happy in Canada, in Toronto, and Montreal. My God, the hockey about that. Uh, Danny T, the moderator, is in the house tonight. So, uh, Danny, hopefully, doing well. Uh, Laval, 2 2, 5 minutes left in the third period. Rick Bengal, thanks so much to Rick, uh, gave us any update. Uh, Uh, 
uh, about that. Uh, William McClary, I agree. And uh, I'm sure if Crosby loyalty to the Penguin came into the question, he would try to play a Montreal uh, for that. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, a, again, uh, uh, this subject, guys, about uh, the, the players uh, uh, where they have exception at the rules, like you said, Sidney Crosby. But if you look about, look at Noah Anifin. Just take Noah, Noah Anifin. Born in, in USA, right? Have a good career with Calgary Flame. The Calgary Flame offer him a contract, and he decide to leave Calgary. Elias Langholm refused to play back in Calgary. Philippe Dano for uh, X dollars, whatever it is, right? Uh, you have other effect, but the players prefer to live most of the time. Montre Dano, guys, born in Montreal, played for the Montreal Canadiens, could be another year if you're really attached to the team. $500,000, guys. Out. Who care? Did not happen. Did not happen. This is the reality we are. Still, people like and our type does not believe it. Does not believe this, right? William does not believe it. But I'm telling you right now, the young players in NHL, they don't really care about the past of the Montreal Canadiens overall. Yes, some of them. Yes, of course, he's going to have players. But when they reach the the level, but they're going to have its friends right there. And I feel like uh, that would be the friend that the Capitals that tied the game 4 4, by the way. Uh, Coach, you a uh, rock on your podcast and give us Dan. I appreciate it. And I thought it's not about the leaves, it's about the boy player, about the abs. Uh, Jordan, Danny, uh, Super Chat, Rick, uh, Disney uh, location. Uh, uh, Pittsburgh, we want Pittsburgh because of his wife, Julie, remember correctly? He does not want Canada. Uh, Neat again, uh, it's about Canada. Check out, sorry, uh, Milano Gold tonight, if you can. And, and I, uh, William, talk about the uh, semi Milano score to go tonight. Uh, uh, remember, he was involved, if I believe, um, William, with a goal with Trevor Zegras uh, uh, on the pass uh, behind the net. Uh, and Milano knocked the door. Uh, knock the puck uh, straight in the net. Same situation happening tonight, guys, uh, uh, where he uh, have a rebound, I believe, in front of the net, uh, kick the puck or tip the puck in the hair, and then he flipped the puck over the shoulder of the goaltender. Uh, that's what the goalie is talking about, uh, uh, William, about that. Uh, great point about this, sir. Dan, how far do you think the Jet will go this year, coach? Uh, um, if they finish first, I would say second round. If they finish first, uh, if they finish second or third, uh, if it's Colorado, uh, I think they're going to finish only one round. Uh, the only way they can go maybe second round if they beat the Dallas Star. Um, but if they met Colorado at the first or second round, that would be the end for them. Um, but they have a good team, and sometimes team like uh, Winnipeg or any team go to the playoff. If the chemistry really get there in April, and uh, uh, they really cement, because you never know the second season how they look like. Uh, I would say to you, it's really possible um, uh, they can go to be farther. But I, I, I think for me. Um, I understand they, they are really good defensive, Ali Bach, and now they add money and to 40. Uh, and they, it, it's a solid team. Uh, the depth is good. The four line is pretty good. The defenseman for me is a little bit worried, a little bit concerned. But again, uh, if you think about the top four, uh, it's really Maurice, uh, uh, Pionk, uh, DiMelo, and Brennan Dillon. Uh, all the defensemen for them, and I think that's maybe the one area I would be a little bit my concern. Again, it's not the end of the, it's not like far, but overall I would be slightly go with Colorado, and that's the reason I would set one or two rounds for the Winnipeg Jet. 
Again, I could be wrong there. How about that? Uh, uh, Patrick said, Larac uh, is mentioning the Mediatic Pressure Resist Blur and Anonymous is in USA. In Montreal, that's the title, uh, Danny T. Tonight, uh, Zegros et Bouvier want to the Montreal Canadian Abination about that one over there. Um, for that, uh, he did not want to try there. He want to ask her, ask her for Brazil. He also said, I'm going to turn it twice because the gym won those, not the Jeff. Uh, the pressure in Montreal is a little more than any other location in NHL City. Yeah, I think the pressure is another uh, reason behind that, uh, for sure. Thanks so much, Rick, uh, for that uh, on that one a super chat. Uh, always delivery, my friend. I appreciate that uh, mention. Uh, player like uh, the uh, Brett Men want to be star in the big city. Montreal is a small city. I mentioned uh, the Catholic are not a good example. They were born in USA and want to run, uh, return there. Just think of the honor player of them when to put in Canada. You see, yeah, but that's the reason. But whatever you are born in Arta should not be a, a problem for the players, right? It's not because it's a good example. Um, uh, 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 David Savard, born in Quebec, he want his family, kid, learn the French, want to play Montreal, right? But uh an example. Kokenemi is not born in USA. He's born in, uh, in Finland, and he want to get out of the Montreal Canadian. The partner is going to say it publicly. And again, in a fact, I don't mention, but the player of a choice at $8 million signed a seven year contract. Florida, Montreal Canadian, right? Uh, Colorado, uh, Lesson Kings, Dallas Star, Vegas. So I give you a couple of choices. Right? Which player and where is going to sign on the five city I mentioned to you? Vegas, right? Panthers or Tampa Bay and Florida. Then you can get a uh, Dallas Star. That's three. You can add Montreal Canadian, that's four. And you can add any other cities, right? The Kings example. If you have five of those cities, do you think Montreal Canadian is going to be the first one on the top in our top? Not anymore. That's the real thing. In the past, yes, not anymore. You're going to give me X percentage of players? I understand that. But the player has a choice. Not the other state because the cup was uh, the ultimate goal. Uh, Gary, nice in the, in the house. Uh, Gary said, nice goal for Rebacker. There we go. Uh, that's awesome. Coach, imagine one soccer seat called 70. Uh, Rick, uh, about that. Uh, come on, people, let's get 8,000 uh, sub before the end of the NHL. Uh, to my knowledge, Weber, Price, Patricia, Seven did not want out of the Montreal Canadian. About that, uh, Patrick, uh, Seven. Uh, And I know said besides Montreal taking the love and joy of his game, he loved LA because he can walk around the state, not being Nazis. So they have a good things to play Montreal and they have a bad things to play Montreal. And the reason Dano said uh, he can walk around. I'm sure Carrie Price uh, he would like to walk around without uh, be recognized. Montreal does not want to come back uh, a nation. Uh, they have to have a new coach. They're going to look around, and uh, they will maybe looking for Benoit Guru. Uh, I don't know if the Phoenix is going to uh, fire André Dorigny, but they're going to looking for a French Canadian. Can Guy Boucher become a coach of Montreal? I don't know. Um, that, that's the name could happen. Uh, get back to the East Super 3 and play uh, 10 years in Canada. If you look tomorrow to the USA, it would ask a long time ago. But Zef, what happening sometime? I will give you an example, Zef. The player grow, right? Become uh, older. Uh, he become uh, an husband. And then after that, he become a father. So the responsibility of the family 
change a little bit the thinking about the players. So P3, after the COVID uh, situation, right, uh, he decided to, um, with the family, to returning at home. Uh, his wife and they are, his family live in Detroit, Michigan. You know, this, this, the dad is a pitcher for the Detroit Red Wings. So for the family, they was more uh, concerned about COVID and they decided to stay around and uh, to stay uh, over there. So at the end of the night, guys, um, they uh, believe it was the best interest for them. So um, it's a choice, a personal choice behind that. Washington take the lead guy, John Carlson, scored his second goal of the game against Carolina Hurricane. It's not a question, Mario Lemieux, uh, when he played junior at Laval, won the Canadian not to draft him. There we go. So you have another example right there. And then the sign, the draft, uh, they ask a player if they want a comfortable play here. The media, the language page, Montreal, no, it's a problem attacking every player they want. Uh, Again, this is a part of the show uh, tonight. Uh, um, uh, it's a part of the sh uh, it's a part of the problem overall. And again, it's not going to be. It's a part. What could happen are the players. Not everyone can support the pressure. Um, and this one, they draft the players. I'm talking in right now with the new management. Uh, they want to look about their character. They want to see if it's possible or not. Uh, uh, that uh, Mr. Gary Conway is in the house tonight. Uh, welcome back, Gary. Uh, Kovalev, Kovachuk, uh, 240, and other like a uh, play in Montreal. Uh, player don't want to play for the abs. Uh, about that, uh, Gary Conway. So, uh, Gary. Uh, Kovalev got trade or let go by the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Kovalchuk, he got trade, right? And Tufoli got trade. All of them all became a UFA. So they have a choice to come back in Montreal, and they never returned with Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Thomas Vanek uh, got trade at the traded line, and he did not want to play in Montreal. He decided to play in Minnesota. Thomas Vanek. Uh, um, I will give you an example, guys. Give me a uh, players with the Montreal Canadian in the last five, seven years. Sign a contract of $7 million with a Montreal Canadian as a UFA. How many players send the last five years in NHL? Right? Sign a contract of seven, eight million dollars and more around the league, but never signed with the Montreal Canadiens. Did you ever ask that question to yourself? Why the Montreal Canadiens never asked any players? Like Ryan O'Reilly last season, example, right? Uh, and you can go backwards, right? Why we have to sign a, a Tyler to fully only a four million dollars? Uh, Mike Hoffman only at $4 million, right? And we have to sign a Calvin Asner uh, at what? Four, $3 million, maybe $4 million, right? They are the last couple of UFA about that. Um, Jonathan Drouin, do you think he would love to play in Montreal or stay in Montreal? He's going to become UFA next year. Do you think he would love to return in Montreal? So, when you said you disagree about that, I would say to you, it's not disagree. It's about it's uh, players. The title is said uh, some player, why the some player I would to play in Montreal. Not all of them, right? It's not all of them. It's uh, some of them, and uh, that's the reason uh, how they could attract players uh, uh, eight nine million dollars uh, to play Montreal. Uh, uh, do you think Panarin he would prefer to play Montreal? Or play New York Rangers? Did you ask her this question? Why the Montreal Canadiens never offer a contract to Panarin? Uh, and I can go away. Again, they have reason behind that. 
So the reason behind that, we would like to know why they don't want to come here, right? Not all of them, of course, right? But they have some reason behind. The Carolina Hurricane uh, tied the game 5-5. If you don't like Zeb Jarvis, guys, uh, uh, you should. There we go. Charlie Lindgren, uh, five goal tonight. Uh, 13 years in Canada for Petri. 13, if you read uh, correctly, uh, Zeph. Uh, you have to write Zeph. But why, after that, he decided to leave Montreal? Zeph. I uh, do not know that about Lemieux, William McClary. Um, I saw Steve Shot on the East on my app in red right before he got in to sign it. Uh, Steve Shot. Uh, Claude Richard is in the house tonight. Welcome back. Uh, thanks to be with our connection. Then it was uh, full around by the management, so he said, too bad. Uh, Patrick LaWhite, uh, diving in Toronto, uh, sitting Couturier. Couturier has scored one goal in 27 games. Uh, William, you have sorry about this, uh, William. Um, and his agent said his player does not, he does not know why he got benched. <laughs> he should look about his score sheet. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Agent, uh, about that. Uh, uh, Draft Celebrini, Crosby will come running play for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, uh, Gary Connery, about the Montreal Canadian. Uh, the app are willing to overpay to overpay the star like uh, the leaves. They will not have any of them. Uh, Zef, the problem if you are French and play for the abs, you just do not have a social life. You cannot go anywhere without being recognized. One is one and a set of that one. So you have to write Zef about this. Uh, William, he has seen uh, how. The French press trade Guy Lafleur in his first two years. Uh, uh, Yann uh, want to do a deal for Tavares, a uh, cheap. Uh, Jordan, uh, we also structure a contract in Canada, sign the Eponis AV, because uh, that's the whipler like uh, McDavid to not get a uh, tax uh, the same as the main contract. It's all designed to save money, uh, Jordan. Uh, uh, I never heard that below uh, before, uh, William, about uh, don't forget the bad facility and the place in Calgary, uh, Patrick LaWhite. Uh, point on the lot uh, uh, what you said, but uh, also I get that plus. Uh, don't want uh, to stick around with toxic fans, uh, management, and media for run. Chris, uh, Ray Backer tie up at the third period. Rada, I could see Cross B only going to play with Avalanche or retire as a pick in Pittsburgh. You welcome Dan for your answer. Uh, don't you think the environment uh, less toxic uh, one play? For the Red Sox, the Yankees, the Dodgers, the Phillies, the Dallas Star, the Cowboys, Patriot. Uh, Jan William, I live in Montreal then and never would I think about uh, booing any Canadian player, but ever a bonbon Jeffrion and got booed to score 50 gold to tie Maurice Richard. It's pretty toxic in Boston. I don't think so. Um, um, uh, Ron, it was tried to say oh, it's only a Montreal toxic. Um, the team have a really, a really deep base foundation of the fans, right? Um, and this is any sport, by the way, right? Uh, the fans in Boston, like uh, Patrick Sock about the Red Sox, the Yankees, and you know anywhere, uh, if the team does not perform, they get booed. Um, they are really demanding. Are the fans are demanding enough this year uh, now, or they are less demanding before in the past? 
Je pense, uh, I said que l'on go back to the old days of Montreal on all the right to any player from Quebec. Uh, je pense, uh, I was a long time with Sam Pollock, uh, my friend, uh, right? Uh, was a market uh, for pressure Toronto, Montreal, and New York, Vancouver, not necessary, and that order help uh, me if you think they are, was a market under the microscope. Uh, now, what well said, William, about that? I think you really uh, nailed it about those markets, uh, for sure. Uh, you know, like a Boston or maybe Rangers, I would say to you also, uh, they have other sport around them, right? In Montreal, the only really team where the people are really, not really care, but they really pay attention is Montreal Canadian, right? Uh, I think Martin Saint-Louis, the head coach in Montreal, is maybe number three in, the, in Canada, who is, uh, you know, cover every single day. So, um, not easy. And the fan base still generates some of the IS revenue. Why do you think they are allowed to tell Montreal fans about success? Uh, sign them to the eight year by, uh, before they get married, then with their kid and the school, they can be trade uh, after eight number eight years. Uh, about that. Uh. By the way, guys, uh, Gus Nezab uh, returned to play again the Washington Capitals tonight. Uh, we don't talk about this, uh, honestly. Almost score on oh, that one. Uh, I will sign uh, in Vegas also. Uh, Patrick uh, William, I think you are nail it. Uh, uh, when I watch a Toronto game, uh, they always spin to our uh, roulette. Uh, but when I watch Matoire, it's always uh, comparing the past to other team and the star. Logan Mayu, Rick Bengal, uh, Mayu score. Uh, morning coach, uh, Mr. Roy is in the house. Laval win 3-2. Uh, uh, Rick Bengal. Uh, First win and over time, Laval win tonight, guys, 3 to 2. Cole Caulfield son to uh, not be able to walk around doing his grocery uh, for Zephyr. Uh, look like Laval win tonight. Uh, awesome. Mr. Aki is in the house tonight. Welcome back, Aki. Uh, thanks to be with our Canadian show. Rebecca score, my you score. Thanks to come uh, get this uh, Rick Bengal. Here we go. Talking about uh, Rebecca, GC Lajoie want to trade uh, Rebecca. Uh, Marie Naro or Gonzo want to trade Logan Mayu. <laughs> this is another reason, guys. Uh, David Rebecca did not play any game this week. Right? Lane Hudson is not there yet, and the Slate Boisvert. Want to trade Lane Hudson already. The kid is not there yet. He didn't have no contract with the Montreal Canadian. And Boisvert requested the Montreal Canadian trade uh, Lane Hudson. David Rebecca did not play a game this week. J.C. Lajoie questioned, do you think Rebecca is the boss? Or he questioned, do you think we should take Mitch Cobb over Rebecca? George Larac, uh, trade, uh, I believe, uh, tra La Larac, I believe it was Mayu. So, uh, this is the media in Montreal. TV Sport, LDS. Um, I think Norman Flynn wants to trade Cole Caulfield or Nick Zuski. And I can go all the way like that. Uh, defense incoming uh, for Jordan uh, is really tough in all Canadian market. Ian, I think you nailed it. Uh, while watching it right now, my dog coach, yes, for the family, but before COVID, it was not an issue to live and play in Montreal. You have to write, Zeph. Uh, I will play today. I bet that the best is in the net. I agree. Uh, Ian and Montreal Carrier is on a trip for sure. Uh, I'm so right about this, uh, William. Good evening, Mr. Luciano. Coach, uh, listen to this. Uh, the last three goals for the Montreal organization, Sakaski, Rebecca, and Mayu. Uh, great point to see that, Rick, honestly. Um, the for sure is bright, like I said. I should draft uh, their own players. Uh, the only reason why the players sometimes are out of Canada is because the NHL has not really addressed the issue of the Inequality, especially one concerning the tax, uh, the exchange of the dollar and the tax. 
So one the and after talk about the action dollars, I think he talk about the fact like the salary cap, right? You pay your player all in American, and uh, also the tax on, on different province, it's from Canada. Canada. Uh, so that's the one reason of that. But Ron asked why is it that we were more about players who willing to leave Canada, but not players willing to leave USA. There is no way there are a bunch of players who want to leave uh, leave the US. Um, you know, a again, it's different ways uh, uh, about that. I think for Canada versus uh, many now, they have better choice in USA uh, to live uh, around the, the with state with no tax, right? And um, now the Washington Capitals score another goal, guys, six to five. The Carolina got destroyed tonight, nineteen goal, uh, nineteen shot only. And make me call, I believe, score the goal. Uh, make me call that gave him 17 gold this year, I believe. Uh, the defensive guys of the Calendar Rican not looking good. Uh, Jordan Stahl, I think he's there for four goals tonight. Unbelievable. Crazy. Curry is bad as a mountain, and Winnipeg is not behind. I don't know if Rick, Rick, Randy is around uh, the tax tax. That's whether Rick, uh, all things been equal, means that most players wouldn't up to play in Canada in a tap. Uh, they did not return because the offer was not there. Uh, Patrick, uh, I would get paid in American dollars. Uh, Vanek was dropped to the four line by Marco Dorian in the playoff, uh, so he left. Uh, um, is it not another reason for it that no left Montreal Canadian is responsibility of the minute and uh, uh, is uh, uh, the way they treat him at the end? Is it not reason Kokanimi left Montreal Canadian because um, the treatment did not the L3 crash at the end of the of the playoff uh, final? Um, is it the same thing happening with Pat Charity too? Uh, the American uh, Gary question coach. Uh, as a GM, what would you uh, strategy to bring uh, ice value players to Montreal as a UF free, uh, Gary? Um, if I was GM for bringing the Montreal Canadian guys, it's uh, first of all, right? Uh, it's always going to be to be sure your team perform enough to make the playoff and do you have a chance to win the Stanley Cup. Without that, uh, it would it would be very difficult to bring a player right now with the Montreal Canadian. Uh, secondly. Um, the player will love uh, to have security, so a uh, guarantee six, seven, eight years uh, to play in Canada for sure. Uh, uh, thirdly, is going to be now the the, the TY uh, is is role inside the team, uh, and I can go that direction. So if you want to attract player like that, and then you have to be sure uh, the players uh, performing enough uh, under a, a great coach around that. Uh, and when I see that, guys, I see Montreal Canadiens are going to that direction. Uh, great foundation culture, great management, great coaches now to add the players to develop themselves to become better. And uh, the players want to do that at a young age because after that, if ever they leave the Montreal and uh, they perform under Martin Saint Louis, uh, they could get paid left and right. But that would be the three things I will be sure if I'm a GM, the team have to perform. Uh, if not, it will be hard to sign a UF3 uh, to come in Montreal. The, I'm talking about top six. I'm talking about the top three defensemen. Um, that would be the reason behind that, uh, Gary. Uh, this is key. Uh, get paid seven million, nine million dollars in the USA. I think it's a 7.785, I believe. Uh, they believe it's a, a bone ball game, not hockey. Uh, about that, uh, for that, uh, they, I believe it's a Game it okay. Uh, UF free don't come to Montreal, been like this for a long time. At Luc Lafossin, uh, Larek explained for lead well that the trade tax is not a matter of much, uh, if there are many or uh, other for fiscal reasons to play in Canada, also Patrick. Uh, but I'm ask you to play in New York. Uh, about that, uh, Bob Guinea had to pay seven million to get tripler from USA that was quiet a while ago. Yan.
we are under attacks. <laughs> I don't know if you hear the helicopter. The helicopter. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's happening when you live at the 31 floor. You have the noise of the helicopter. That's crazy. Montreal would be at the bottom of the list where I would want to play uh, Andy. How about that? Uh, Alex, uh, with, uh, I mean, it's hard for us there uh, here in Quebec to compete dollar for dollars. Again, the team with much lower tax rate and like Florida, uh, or seven or eight is not worth as much as 10 plus. Uh, great point about this, uh, Alexa. Thanks again. And uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the like. If you don't mind, that'd be great. Uh, do you think anyone playing a reserve worry about and chase it? The one there, go see. Uh, they are cannot, uh, they cannot in Montreal. Ce qui est parce que résident est en Montreal habitation. Il y a absolument, Gary. Ce qui est à l'île des sœurs, c'est un condominium. Il y a absolument. Right, best way to attract uh, is and the player have a winning team. Right, nail it. Uh, the tax in Canada by the players are lucky. They are such a huge corporate to control on tickets in Toronto. You that as well. See that, uh, William. Uh, thanks so much for the likes. Uh, Matthews, Melander, Etavarez, Raleigh, Manor, and all of those shown to leave Toronto, but up to stay a sign for them at well. I uh, could uh, make same dollar in USC. How about that? Uh, uh, Nalander accept to get there for sure. Uh, again, uh, Anna said he didn't want to leave, uh, but they decide to stay there. On the flip side, uh, I will say to you, Randall Rally. Now, uh, check this in our tap. Tyler Pertuzzi, Max Domi. Um, they are uh, two players right there uh, where they are UF3 next season. The Canadians don't have a great team. Free agent want to win the same cup and, and they have, are not there yet, uh, Gary. That's a great point. I think, Gary, behind your statement, it's more about a winning team, like Roy said. About that, uh, why nobody are signing in Arizona than Zeph? Uh, But I think one reason behind that is Zef, I will say to you, the team. Nick William, been a uh, many game fan that, about the game, uh, Luciano. Not only player, run people in general. Uh, look, uh, I said Jimmy Page once I done the same thing happening. Uh, right now. It depends uh, which direction the team is going to not to mention great player to play with. Uh, um, I think it's uh, nobody bring that uh, uh, that one over there. Right I agree with you. It uh, depends on the great player to play with. Uh, so uh, back on Toronto, guys, uh, uh, with uh, Nalander, Matthews, Manor, right? Um, it would be interesting if Matthew leave the building, what Manor is going to do and every other player uh, with the Toronto Maple Leafs. So uh, this is a great point about this, runner. And I think uh, that'll give you a little bit uh, happening. Uh, Petri will it to leave because during the COVID period, his wife complaining about the restriction. Thank God, the Michael Langston, uh, when he played that exposed imagine coming up, uh, coming home after work to have your wife. A uh, uh, great point about that. He was right uh, for that. Uh, Patrick, uh, in Montreal, you get pay and USA allow you spend in Canadian. Uh, you get some bonus, uh, then been tax for this uh, bonus on your living area. Coach, uh, what the uh, dark horse do you see coming up in the West uh, and the East team to make the playoff? Uh, the, to make the playoff, are you talking about who's going to make the playoff or are you talk about when you're going to be in the playoff, Willie, uh, about that? Um, I still believe the Flyers is going to make the playoff now. Um, that was a good one. Uh, the Washington Capitals won tonight, guys. It'll be interesting uh, to be back in the in the race. Uh, on the on the other side, um, I think for me, I uh, you know, 
it's really hard. You, you, a dark horse guy have to be at the bottom four of the playoff. You cannot consider like Colorado a dark horse or Edmonton a dark horse, right? Because they are favorite favorite there uh, for that. Um, It could happen, guys. I think Tampa Bay, the Flowers, the Nashville, and the Vegas Golden Knight, one or maybe two of them are going to shock the first position in, in NHL. So when I said that, I would say the Vegas play the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Vegas could make the Vancouver out. Um, I would say to you, the Tampa Bay that name play the Boston Browns or play the Rangers. Uh, now, the Rangers beat Boston 5-2 this week, right? Uh, again, the Washington Capitals guy tied the game 6-6. You talk about a beer league game? The Kevin up just get that one. Wow. Crazy. Ow. Plur uh, our tax app of the survey and the visiting states. Uh, and then provide their RP anyway. Uh, complaint she should not be uh, her shipping because Matwell has a strange CD for her I cry every night to back to USA. Zephyr. I'm sure look, I just got curious one day and wanted to see what they pay in taxes as soon as they play like make David Tavarize. I pay too much tax now. <laughs> hey, okay. Uh, true about that being a recognized thing. I heard Toronto based player find it the product as well. Um, I agree with Lucky, with you, uh, but want to say the old garden fans have a little more knowledge. I got a new crowd, uh, as well the old woman and the great Let's come in, Eddie Shaq. Here we go. Uh, not the case, uh, you are looking at the platinum seat. Take up right thanks to all, all the fans, so the one they got watch outside. Uh, Amir, uh, now the Amir next season, do we expect him to be good? Then burn him again. Uh, our fans are respectful towards the players. Uh, the media are hard on the players with their negative press. Uh, Harold Butler was the best businessman. I have lost the team and I have a fun house making money. Uh, Gary said that Laval won an OT tonight. Uh, Daryl. Tax could weather too much. Uh, thanks for all the light we got tonight, by the way. I uh, know the same story. A success will wipe to happy there for which friend pretty sick. It's calling. Uh, uh, I have to look uh, about that. I found one or two abination. Rebecca scoring the Ecuador and the third. May you scoring an OT tonight. Patrick LaWhite. Uh, about this. Uh, to me, this are just the youngest looking. Montreal wrote are not good. Uh, at Fenway, uh, the fans are waiting for the player to get out of the player parking area. Uh, RJ back at the house. Uh, RJ, welcome back. Uh, and my twelve, if you have a certain background, you get trait worse. Uh, they want to play my twelve because the street uh, construction in the city. Cabaret, great crazy. 5 5 Washington, uh, William. 6 um, 6 now, and behind on the chat, guys. Uh, about that there. Uh, yeah, right, Philadelphia. New York, oh, Minnesota with their basement football team. You're right. Uh, Sonny Malino, hat trick, uh, William McClary. Uh, the team force you sell it back. Uh, let's get uh, try to pick up. Uh, Franco, welcome back in the house, uh, Franco. A uh, long time. Uh, all the chatter and rack up. Uh, and there's a plug when the city can or team as well are on the no trade list. Uh. Oh, we don't talk about this. I would be curious, guys, how many players uh, on the no trade list have, uh, uh, you know, how many teams they have in Canada versus USA? What would be the percentage behind that? 1-1 uh, Columbus and Colorado. Philadelphia, Boo, Santa Claus, or the Christmas parade, uh, tough crowd. Uh, only person can afford to go in a hockey game. They are all the money. Uh, <coughs> uh, Bob's uh, Charlie Lindgren, uh, yeah. 
Tough night for him, six gold. Uh, but that, uh, Philippe Branston on the team hard. I'll send a check out on the unpredicted first for the grass uh, ablation. Uh, that is a circus cloud, uh, Gary. Uh, the French Cat Canada. Uh, baseball, uh, Carfield. Uh, they are always uh, uh, for you, is in the house. Uh, good morning for you. Uh, to that guy, Jeff uh, Lacave. Rocket 3, Belleville 2. Final, no. Uh, Go uh, going in overtime. Not sure is a big issue anymore. If, if anything, is the media that has those expectations. Uh, Larry Lavalley is in the house. Thanks so much, everybody. Don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, for that, uh, we're getting at 10 o'clock. Uh, uh, very intense media. High level of pressure. 6 5 Washington. Uh, Mac McCall uh, Bobs. Uh, uh, aggressive, I prefer ring from former players, uh, coach and management people. Uh, they don't play the system during the game. They just explain the game how it is. Uh, also, tax in Montreal is way too high. Temperature and winter is our good. lot of that. That's fun for you. I will have a lead and a tap. Uh, and there we go. Way too much tax in Montreal. Too many fans. Uh, too much uh, uh, keto. There we go. Uh, was the Montreal suddenly a uh, hype uh, there? Hype on that one. Uh, the major are not the same spectrum anymore. The YouTube channel sure are replacing them and been quite global anyway. About that, that uh, Toronto and the same type of the thing. Steve Simon is always complaining about something dumb over there. Uh, the media on Montreal are way more complacent than the way it was before. Randy is in the house. Maurice Abiyar, the answer is easy. Uh, we have six Tunisian team out of the do the match. Uh, yeah. Seven, Maurice, but I can understand your point of view about this. Uh, you're right. Uh, To the ad, like they said, um, uh, it's about it, they, um, Gary said, for the ad, like they said, said, but if they build, they will come to the game in Paul, uh, to the top region. So uh, Gary's point of view is about that. Uh, if they have a good team, they will come. Uh, good point. Yeah, book on the Finnish sniper, Simon M and White Dad, uh, William uh, was an amazing man, uh, William. Uh, was team to play for Calgary, Winnipeg, Montreal, all those are Canadian team uh, for you. Uh, Batman, uh, stubbornness to keep a team in Arizona and send to moving it where you have your friend base on it. Montreal, Quebec, it's only absurd. Zeph. Uh, the day was been a Rebecca day. 6 5 Washington, uh, IS and Con is sniper. Uh, Abination, listen to some time. I could want to play in Toronto. Defense Canada, not good. Uh, there is six team in Canada, but wait, uh, Concrete it's not really a team. Also, it's five. Con a very short time. Are you? I mean, a team. Uh, try I mean, I Buffalo Columbus. Uh, I like Lemmy getting some uh, former coaches and uh, uh, players uh, involved. He has a tax friendly with uh, Tony, Jacques Martin, Pomainville, and Baron is very um, personal. Patrick, uh, he lost his body, Guy, Le Guy Boucher. Uh, Zeph, uh, quality of living, market pressure, tax are three main reasons I'm going off. Uh, uh, great point about that. Uh, I uh, think the quality of life is bad in Canada. Now, um, I will say to you, Zef, if you compare uh, uh, Florida Panthers, example, right? And follow the deal. Uh, you compare to Montreal Canadian when you would go to the practice in the morning. Uh, you have to maybe uh, stop your car. Uh, you have to put your clothes. Uh, maybe you have a snow. I don't know how long it would take to get there. If you leave right now and follow the deal, right? And you practice the morning, 
but you can go there and short short Santal and you can be there very quickly. You have no worry about the weather the next morning. The Chinese are coming, coach. <laughs> Uh, Leaf fans are not a lot friend. Can have fans no face base more excited because the team won. Uh, but yeah, Arizona and Buffalo is also there. Natasha, uh, Ottawa Center seven holidays. He has two years contract. If the have, have a chance to win, uh, if the have, have a chance to win, player will come in on time. Yeah, I agree with you that I think this is a good way to see that. Thanks so much for the likes. Uh, don't forget the night that live is our son Montreal versus Columbus. Uh, drop one. Simon or Simon, one one. I love this number one one. Uh, which I prefer player have you identified as a potential that I get for the Montreal Canadiens to sign the next three season? A great point. A great point about this. That uh, next three season, guys, you have to go all the way. Uh, you know, but uh, in the next three years, guys, Mitch Marner, one of them, uh, Leon Tresado, one of them, uh, Jake Wanzel next year. Um, um, Steve Sankos next year, and I, I, you know, you have many plus you can targeting Simon. Simon. I will answer to you, uh, Simon. I apologize, I answer your question very late, guys. I'm still behind uh, at least by 10 minutes. Um, I will say, or each one of you, but for Canadian, in my opinion, they're not going to sign any of you are free before 25 26. Uh, I think this year, I don't think so, they will sign a, a, a top potential UFA yet. But the player I'm talking about right now, they are possible to get there. That would cost a lot to get Leon Tresalo, and it's almost, you know, difficult to get that. But I, I think they have a lot of players going to be UFA the next uh, three years. Uh, and, 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 you know, great players, by the way. And uh, that may be possible. Montreal could get uh, um I think, I'll give you an example, guys. Uh, and I, I know some of you said, come on, coach, never happened. But uh, let's see. Let's see, guys, an example. Uh, Clayton Keller is signed for six years. So he's not going to get there for sure. I was thinking about that uh, for that. I think a team like uh, Kevin Hurricane, guys, uh, um, a player like uh, Nick Cash. Nick Cash become RFA next year. You have a three years contract, turn 26. So, what could happen with Nick Cash next year? Can Kevin sign him a long term or not? Um, that would be a player I was looking for uh, for Montreal Canadian. Can he sign only a one-year contract? I'm not sure. But this is the kind of player you can look around in NHL. The solid lead 4-1 against Pittsburgh Penguins, sir. Franco, a uh, question. Uh, what about Molson changing the management and coaches to improve odds of player value to come to Montreal? But they already have a good staff, a good management right now. They're helping them now, the, pl the players to come in, in Montreal, I believe. But uh, you're right. Whoever take a snake seriously, I don't know that real. A lot of people like a Boisvert, but uh, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, this is the reason why the uh, 
Hugo has tried to build a certain culture in Montreal, explore, treat with the class, the respect, the attract UFA. A great point about that. He said the federal government wants to change the tax rate and sign bonus from 27 to 20%. What's the cut? The start. Here we go. The reorganization of the success to follow will bring a winning attract better plus winning is a lose win. Here we go. About that. Uh, um, for this, uh, rebuilding is what Martin Monson uh, look about. You may in a fact that Benjamin uh, Jack Glass uh, would uh, have El Tamer, and why he was not respectful. Uh, going to be now on the. I'm going to be now on the. Let's see how many times he touched the pocket. Kusnizov. Uh, two, three, four. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Shoot the puck and he scored, I believe. And uh, they scored the first goal. Uh, no, he missed the net. Uh, Look like uh, or then go and make a save. Uh, Look like it does not work anymore for Kusnizov. Kusnizov. Uh, Weber Price not going living in uh, Patrick. Uh, I heard Serge was uh, the room for the youth interview. Things have changed since it uh, took over the team. Uh, so the cap should be based on the weather tax to so make it equal. Uh, no dark horse. Uh, Montreal intend the living is not bad at all. Uh, just for really the tax uh, the average person in French. Uh, the knife a great, uh, great people. But in the plot, Montreal is horrible. Uh, Montreal, you should know the local language, uh, just like anyone moving to another city, it's uh, just where they live. Uh, that cause for me, Tampa Bay and uh, East Nashville. Uh, for William. Uh, Tampa Bay, that is for Dark Horse, uh, right? Since uh, can't score after the pull the goalie. Goli, uh, 6-6. Six, six, uh, not sure Zev agree, but he's got draft for the Montreal like Carfield. We expect that. Are uh, you coming at Super English? Uh, and now French Canadian Premier Tax. Uh. My dog also cup final is the Ranger Jets, uh, Bob's. Uh. Again, I have a lot of head office at UPS, Coca-Cola, Home Depot, Desire Line, and many more, lot, many money in Atlanta. You have sorry about this. Exactly. Franco Petri did a good job, Montreal. For you, this what bring the flammer to play Montreal. Uh, that's a great, they just don't. Uh, for you, I will keep the language out of the for you taste blood. Don't ever go there by Montreal. Uh, uh, to the best place for hockey, let's send it, Florida, both at Dallas, Nashville for you. Not a bad selection. I think Vegas should be another one over there uh, for that. Ovenshin got stopped. I don't tell anybody, my friend, what is that? Spanish and the US now. The F1 uses key conference is kind of learning English. Uh, what your name? Forget. Oh, yeah, forget they have a team on the right, Patrick. Uh, do you think Sam Renat will sign with the Sash for around 10 for eight years? Uh, I don't think so, Simon. Uh, I think Sam Renat is going to return with the, with the Florida Panthers. Um, you're going to see that, guys. Uh, Renault's going to sign a little bit lower money to stay with Flair Panthers. That's the reason we talk about this, right? Um, uh, for that, uh, Simon. Enjoy the third world. Uh, KLS will come in the house. Michigan, Michigan. Uh, state both team load with draft players. Uh, William, uh, I agree with you about this. Uh, uh, William on the NCAA. Uh, Simon, no way. Yes, I would like to uh, eight point five for you. Um, five year, uh, five million dollars only for Renat for you. That's too cheap. 
I think it's good to learn language. You should learn to speak language where you live. The Washington Capitals guy won tonight uh, six, seven to six. Uh, uh, Coach Chekhov is not happy about that one over there. Dylan Strom uh, make the goal. Uh, and uh, the Washington Capitals guys are close <laughs> again uh, to be at the wild card. They don't, they don't go nowhere. The Washington Capitals, not many of us believe on them. Uh, and they beat uh, the Canada Hurricane and the Kuznetsov. Uh, here we go. Um, we got beat on the top corner. But in your coach, is it rolling? Uh, Suspension, RG, Tom Wilson. Uh, this is the reason the draft uh, and the development uh, are important for Montreal Fraser. I don't care about the free agent. Uh, uh, great point about this, Gary. I, I think you need it. Uh, you guys don't get the uh, point. Spanish and USA. Uh, and it's in media. It's not neat allowed. No one care if you know. Or down at Montreal, must know French. Uh, how much would you offer a uh, judge uh, to play Montreal if you start to I think uh, five versus five. Uh, not allowed, uh, Simon. I would give him only two and five. Um, two years at five million dollars. That's it. That's all. Uh, not much. Thirty-four years old. Thirty-five years old. After that, uh, Montreal at that time going to be a turnover. If you want to get another transition, um, that would be the only way I would give him a uh, Simon uh, for him. Uh, some maybe go with three years. I would be. So careful for an extra year, uh, Simon. Eric Doucette, uh, it's cold in Quebec. Uh, nice to see you, uh, Eric. Uh, it, it's nice in uh, Thailand. Well, that's bad for you. You can get an inflammatory uh, ancient team and now like a fortune company. Okay, the great uh, remplacement on the hockey stream. Uh, little guys, KLS uh, is an international language. Uh, you don't need to know uh, French to live in Montreal for you. Evan is going to get serious. The best case on the French uh, one, uh, Patricia. Uh, no Toronto fans. Uh, Simon, would you either Manta or Duclair come um, to play for the AB this summer? Who you prefer? What does he cost last one? If you have a choice preference, guys, I will go with Duclair. He brings some speed. For the Montreal Canadian, it will cost you cheaper. And uh, the pass of the both players are different. Uh, whatsoever, they have some kind of behavior around them. Uh, if you give me a choice, I will go more with Duclair. Uh, the way the style of the players the Montreal Canadian play right now, uh, with fast transition and um, so that would be my, my suggestion. But Duclair, I believe, is, I don't, I think he is, but I could be wrong. I think he's now going to be 30 years old, Duclair. But he's very close. He's 28, going to turn 29. That's what I thought. He's very close to 30 years old. Unbelievable. Avalanche now, 3-2. Ken McCall, 18 goals. Dwayne got 30 assists at Dwayne. Uh, Colton got a goal, 15 of the year for Colton. Michael, uh, Miko Rantanen, guys, 38 goals. McKinnon, zero point. Ouch. McKinnon, zero point tonight. The Kraken start the game against Arizona Coyotes. This is a game uh, Arizona need to win tonight. Uh, Colton and Canada play like salt in nice time. Uh, Uh, if you live in Florida, dead, you don't worry about the hurricane. You do worry about the hurricane, uh, Yan. Yeah. I can we pay my 12 natural landing spot uh, for a uh, Scandinavian player due to the summer climate. I also been closer five from the. But, you know, I think those kind of players would be more uh, natural for them to play in the cold weather. Where the most uh, the reserve player live, state, uh, William, uh, weather, a uh, tax base, a nice going to golf course and generate. Uh, William, many of them, uh, the recent players live a lot in Miami. A lot of players retired, guys, in Tampa Bay area. Uh, you'd be surprised that many players, uh, Larry Robinson uh, is one of them, uh, Jacques Caron, um, you know, uh, David Tretschak, 
and many many of them uh, they live in the Tampa Bay area Uh, the ad uh, four line are treated like a rock star. You cannot get that anywhere else. Uh, good point. Yana, um, yeah, I don't mind if one of some. I know my house would be there, but I never can. Not sure if I have to place to sleep. Uh, Yana, yeah, I cannot have a two on one. Then go and make a big save, uh, Bob's. Uh, Mitch Bennett, have you seen the media uh, scrum that white player don't uh, want that Montreal live? Uh, I did not see that, uh, Mitch. Uh, by the way, hopefully you enjoyed the game again, the Montreal game. I don't think so. We saw you during the week. Uh, we look at you. I think we saw you one time. Maybe not your face, but uh, your jersey uh, behind the bench of Little Ski. I don't know where you at, uh, if you are right away the first row behind uh, Mitch, but... Uh, about that there. Here we go. Radzulav, uh, guys. Why Radzulav did not sign with Montreal Canadian? The snake is very fun. I uh, hate uh, everybody. Uh, Abination. So, I mean, Montreal can only draft player with star potential in the hope they develop uh, L sign all the star on the last uh, leg. They never have one sign you are free and the print playing years. Uh, Simon, great point about this, Simon. Uh, really appreciate you join us. We'll leave you subscribe to the channel. Uh, great statement. I think uh, you nailed it. Uh, question Dano left Montreal and was relieved for him and his family. Pizza may be a uh, bit lousy, but the same happy why. Um, I think it was a decision of the family also behind that. Uh, uh, for that, Franco, uh, I think, you know, the $500,000, is it a big step behind that? Is it one really, uh, he really care? Uh, I think it was his role with the Montreal Canadian. And sometime family-wise, the wife and the husband want to have a new adventure. For him, it was maybe more about that the direction for him, whatever, a young age was with Chicago. Uh, the timing for him, it was there. And I think the, the dozen case does not only got offer a good contract, they offer him a role, a specific role, tell him what they expect. And I think it was a, clarify, a, a, a clear plan for Dano. So uh, I think I would say that's the best way I see that, uh, uh, Franco. Dano is not from Montreal area, that, uh, just uh, Quebec City. But I, I, when I said uh, Montreal, Simon, I was just said he, he lived in uh, He was born in Quebec. Uh, because there was not one knows uh, Dano is from Victoriaville. Uh, if the ad made the effort to sign Dano, it would be a done deal. Uh, uh, the new problem was with Max Ryan, not the people. Uh, Simon, uh, three one Avalanche. Uh, look, uh, Simon, I think it was Molson. We did not uh, allow Bergeron to spend any money in the last year of his contract. Uh, I bet you, uh, Johnny Hockey, feel pretty severe running away from Canada. Uh, Roland. Yeah, maybe. Five seven six. Uh. Uh, Dano was a, cut, a top result on the ad who was played other players than his players. Uh, and so it's not sure he walked a lot, low ball out front when they did not. Are this well done? Walk this season, Simon. Uh, Salut in a tap. Uh, Brown Strom score. Bob's uh, about this. Uh, Capitals win. Uh, no, Renard. I said 10 million, eight years. Uh. I don't think so. Renard get 10 million dollars, guys. I'll be shocked. Uh, the problem, Simon, is you get a player at 34 years old. And how many players perform after 34, 35 years old? Uh, I will not touch just allow. Uh, at that kind of money, you talk about. Uh, <laughs> Simon, thank you. About that, uh, 31. Uh, Kraken 00, RG, Kalu, Konsin, Sanel, Fant, Sinaran, Shonesan, Penguin, they are losing 4 1 to Dallas Star. 
BU4, main one, Alson, one goal, one assist. Uh, here we go. Thanks so much, uh, Inner Tap. Uh, Roy Edsclair is a flake. How many fun team at Dome him? The list is long uh, about that. Uh, but I don't think so. The Flutter Panthers uh, Dome him, uh, Roy, uh, for um, from Anthony Sclair. Uh, he, he was well appreciated with the Flutter Panthers. Uh, the money was the problem for the Flood Panthers to pay other players. And that's the reason they let him go. Uh, I got other other beer on French guests or not other last. Uh, as it's clear, uh, way, uh, way to solve. That's why Flood let him go. Uh, Jan. Uh, I know, guys. Uh, Anthony Sclair got left go and uh, Flutter, guys. Uh, I was I was there, so I know I was there. I know exactly what happened with Anthony Sclair, guys. The three million dollars to one extra years it was a big problem for the for the Flutter for the Flutter Panthers to pay every other players. And uh, like the time it has happening, they have to pay uh, Carter Vahey from one million dollars to four million dollars. Uh, Catchuk show up after that. And his injury did not help the situation over there. Father visit the uh, Arbol uh, or U.S. Uh, Mass visit Boston College. Uh, and Tampa, Scotty Bowman and Tampa Simon. Um, maybe I don't know about him. Uh, Gary, uh, Randy. Uh, Patrick, Radzilla was a special bird. Radzilla was a wife issue. It was not, uh, um, Radzilla was not a uh, divorce. Radzilla was mistreated. Do you think Dano was upset about Marjorie uh, wrestling the way do the king or does that help him since they have history? Well, I don't think so anymore. Bergeron, guys, uh, uh, around the, the Latin King is not like the involved with all the stuff like that. Uh, this is behind them anyway. Uh, for that, uh, El Afla, a dog, same old dress. Uh, well, we did say Montreal after the first year, but he has in your own and then got same money, tax free in dollars. They should have sent him right away. Uh, uh, I mean, it's, I don't know it could be ready if they don't. Uh, uh, apply for me. Uh, yes, uh, Andon Landell, guys, I love this kid. Yes, divorce. Coach, I watched it. The series is flat, was soft and ineffective. No, um, I, I never said it was um, not soft, everything like that. Uh, yeah, but the reason behind that, at $3 million, that's one reason they let, they let him go. Uh, he just scored 20 gold that year, uh, by the way. Guys, with the Florida Panthers, okay, he had 31 goals and 3 4 games. The following year, he got hurt after that. And during the playoff, guys, he had 11 points and 20 games. Yeah, he had 4 goals. Not a bad overall for him. But his contract at that moment hurt the Florida Panthers. I don't see his performance at the at the playoff make him out of the con of the that team. I, on my opinion, uh, I think time for West seven holiday. Thanks so much, RJ. My Benjamin is to go through the Blake and Rabitai, uh losing Dano and sitting letter pissed me off uh, about that. Uh, 
Here we go, guys. Uh, uh, first of all, guys, uh, again, the subject of the night. I think we go through this. A lot of conversation tonight. It was uh, good. I want to thank Luciano and also um, Ron. Uh, talk about this, to bring this, uh, that kind of subject uh, for the Montreal Canadian. And I think that's, uh, you know, it was great to talk about that, that uh, subject uh, tonight. Uh, why is the French media more persistent and intrusive on the players uh, than other media agents? Uh, Or I think because they already cover, the Montreal Canadian already covered by its friend um, and French stuff, right? I think it's for me, um, I, I think it's not right when you say the French are harder, everything like that. I think they are, t because you have LDS cover and also you have the TVA Sport and you have many other uh, outlets cover over the English site. Uh, I think the media are difficult in Montreal. Maybe bit better than Martin St. Louis and the new management is around and controlling by Chantal McCabe. But it's not easy. The media are really demanding uh, and they want to get uh, uh, the right answer. And uh, with under Martin St. Louis, the media are really more uh, careful and they are not hard like they was in the past. Sean, a job in RK, uh, uh, good question, Boston. You say uh, Denver, Minnesota, and Michigan State will cut. Going to be a Boston guy is the bracket walk out. Uh, great point about this. Uh, Zuclair with San Jose. He has 16 goals. Uh, guys, he has 20 goals again, Zuclair. And 61 game. He has 4 goals, uh, 7 points with Tampa Bay, guys, and 5 games, Anthony Zuclair. Now, I don't say more twice should sign uh, Zuclair. The question was uh, between Manta and Zuclair and the way the Montreal Canadian play, I would take Zuclair. That was the, the, the question. So, uh, Don't, don't go out uh, tonight, said coach one uh, to Claire Montreal. Uh, but no cup. Uh, the player, Simon, about that. Uh, what about New York Rangers, Chicago, Rangers, and Tampa Bay? Like many uh, stop must be a reason behind that, Roy, for it's Claire. But everywhere he goes, he scores a goal. Like, he got drafted by Arizona, guys. He had 20 goals and 81 games in his first year. Uh, but, he, you know, he was with the Rangers before that. All right? After that, he went to uh, Chicago. Uh, he went to Columbus. 11 goals, 53 games. He went to Ottawa. 8 goals, 21 games. He won after that 23 goals and 66 games. Flair Panthers, 10 goals and 43, 31-34. Uh, and then at 20 goals, he got hurt last the year. He got only 2 goals and 20 games. This season, 20 goals and 61. The guy scored 20 goals average per, per season. Whatever you don't like him, him. He just produced. Uh, I will not touch Alex Beauvillier for me. Um, if I was a Montreal Canadian, I understand he's 25 years old. He carrying a $4 million dollars, uh, contract right now. He's 26 years old for Beauvillier, right? Beauvillier had a good year at the beginning of his career. Uh, he has 21, 18, 18, after that 15 and 47, and then sent 21, 22, right? He had 12 goal, 9 goal, 9 goal, 2 goal, 2 goal. This year, guys, uh, uh, and uh, 45, 51 game, guys, yeah, 4 goal this year. Yeah, 15 point. Um, now, you want to come here for $1 million? dollars? I would consider him for sure. Because I think he could bring a player, could be a little bit like a medium uh, top nine for the Montreal Canadian. He's still young, uh, Abination.
Uh, for that, uh, talk about Rabbi Nava, every trainer, uh, a great athlete. This is what I made by mistake, but I see a point. Uh, then I'll deal with this. Uh, Zuclair character coach. Yeah, again, I'm not defending Zuclair, guys. The question is between Manta and Zuclair. Who do you take? I would take Zuclair. Why? The side of the Montreal Canadiens, how they play. Secondly, I just gave you Zuclair score goal. I'm not talking about the players left the team or what is behavior, everything like that. Uh, now, if you ask me, would you like to sign Zuclair? I would say no. He's turned 29 years old, and then uh, he will be 30 years old. And I think for me, Montreal should go to other direction, have uh, 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 their own players over him. Uh, Radzlav, uh, smart, he used the app like uh, Radzlav Anderson, ever does. Guys, I don't know if you all like me, but I'm... I'm 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 over now, Josh Anderson. That's that's bad. Like it's getting worse. And we still have 13 games to go. Josh Anderson, guys, it's really painful to watch. It is. It is. I I know I don't want to be negative. I don't want to trade bad words about some players, but it become a nightmare. Like I don't know. Like that's bad. That's bad. I never I play like a and Kovalev. Now, uh, I'm going to get five more minutes. Uh, what's going on around the Montreal Canadian guys before we finish the show? Uh, that was the subject of the night. Uh, uh, the review guys, the Montreal Canadian and the Vancouver Canucks. Um, I just want to get there on that one of their guys. And you can see when when I reflect on that game, right? But first of all, Montembo, I have my concern about Montembo. I understand he gave only three goals in the last eight games before yesterday. But again, his position, the way he battled the puck, um, I have my concern about Simon Montembo. Um, a lot of fans like him, everything like that. But the guy right now, he lost his position. Is completely off. Uh, for me, I'm concerned about Simon Montembeau on that game. Many players did not show up. All right? Some players have a difficult time. But I'm not going to be too much criti uh, criticized the Montreal Canadiens on that game. I want to go to another team, the Vancouver Canucks. Um have a good conversation with Roy last night, and he was right. You know, the structure of Rick Tarkett. Um, it, it's amazing. Uh, the way they play. Uh, they are a patient team. They wait for opportunities. They are a team are not panicking. Uh, they really manage their game. And this is a team really well structured. Uh, they remind me a couple of teams in the NHL are patient and drive to the net. They are physical, right? Uh, and they are offensive inside of the team. And for me, last night, I see a team, and I, I, I said many times, guys, I'm not seeing uh, players right now, uh, a team like Vancouver. I said earlier this week, Vancouver guys have a difficult time. They can't go all the way. But last night, guys, they proved me uh, maybe I could be wrong uh, for the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, and it was Casey the Smith between the pipes. And said Montreal did not play well, but Montreal did not give space. Uh, the Vancouver did not give them space. They don't get let them skating. Uh, they push the puck behind the net, and they were the fastest players to pick up the puck after that. Uh, they play a system where the Montreal the Canadiens have a difficult time when they put the puck behind the defenseman. And uh, we have to give credit for the Vancouver Canucks last night. So I don't want to criticize too much. Uh, uh, the player for the Montreal in the end, some people did not show up, everything like that. But um, I think for me, there was a game right there where the Montreal can have a difficult time. Uh, Montreal percent 4.21 game. Hopefully, Buck is in the playoff uh, for uh, Langholme. And then, guys, I want to talk a little bit news about the Montreal in the end. Uh, I'm just talking about Montembeau performance. Uh, concern, are you concerning about him? Uh, are you worried about him? This is your goalie. It should be for the fans that want to be number one. 
And I don't see that. I apologize, guys, but I don't see Montembeau a uh, goaltender number one in the NHL. The best is going to be a backup number two. And next year, we have him and Primo. And you guys, you believe with them, can carry on that team 88 point and the, make the playoff or close to the playoff. I, I don't see that. I, I don't see that. Next news, guys, before we go move on, uh, as I news, um, RHP with the game he played uh, last night, uh, obviously for him, he is not on the, uh, is not no waiver anymore. So um, what, before that, right, you have a different rules of the, uh, the waiver, the number of the game, the number of the years you play, and uh, I can go all the way like that, right? Uh, but uh, it passed the 150 game, I believe, in the shadow one of the game. And now it's going to be, uh, it's not exception. So if you send RHP and Laval, you have to go through the ballot uh, for the waiver on the NHL now. So uh, not exception. Secondly, I would say to you, he have an opportunity right now on the second line. He had one goal this year, guys, in what, 35 game, I believe, when the Montreal Canadian. Um, and last night, second line, uh, that line was off. Uh, New Hook, Amir, and RHP. Uh, Marco love RHP. I understand what he bring. But this is a, he, he have like 13 games to play in the second line right now. Can he take advantage of that? Uh, do, you de do you think RHP deserves to be with Montreal Canadiens? And I can go all the way like this. Uh, finally, Sakaski got 20 points in his last 22 games. You're right, Sakaski. 20 points is his last 22 games. Another goal yesterday um, for him. I think it was his 15th goal of the year. And uh, he's now a, what, 38 point, I believe, for Sakaski. He's getting there. Can he reach 40 points? Um, consistency is the word. And I think for me, this is the most important thing for Sakaski this year. Uh, for that. Uh. Uh, for that. Um. Uh, so far at the end, I uh, will go there. I think Gallagher is not a fit with the, uh, the group. He does not have enough uh, skill, finesse to play with uh, their finesse, new generation. Uh, but I think if you want to talk that way, Simon, I think Gallagher does not too bad with a Montreal Canadian. Uh, number 11 goal uh, with Jordan Amir. Uh, we have more goal at Josh Anderson and the rest of the player at the bottom six. Uh, M and Joel, and Joel Amir are the most gold at the bottom six for the Montreal Canadiens. Montreal qualify him because of his contract. Remove his money uh, to have 20, uh, a guy at the bottom six with 11 gold is not bad. Again, uh, he's not like he was the Gallagher before, but he's still hanging there. Uh, for me, is compared to Josh Anderson, Gallagher go at the war every single night. Uh, for that uh, ammunition, uh, Langham is a bad grazer. Uh, Turco, uh, scary thing. Simon is Gallagher is a third for the ab this year for the goal at even strength five versus five. Well, the only Vancouver born in the ab last break uh, today is was the case last night. Uh, was nice again. The abs, uh, uh, I don't see but the uh, primo and the rooker or like. Uh, our look uh, is that our uh, function or his deployment opportunities. I'm very con more concerned about my recent and the Montembeau. Uh, about that, it's not Kevin Kouar as a good system. Every team has a good system. Again, the ads uh, look. But I'll be honest with you. Look about the uh, Montreal players again, other team. They're hanging there. They're still better. They have opportunities. Look, last night, how many times Montreal have a two versus one? How many breakaways they got? No, no, zero, zero, zero uh, from Vancouver Canucks. Uh, will Madison get a big deal? No, he have already a contract with the Montreal Canadian Simons. What that? Uh, Patrick, talk about minus thirty-two. Patrick, how many points he has? Uh, uh, Patrick, uh, Mike Madison, 
right? Go get the NHL guys. I will go back on the stat for defensemen guys. All right? Skater. Defenseman, guys, number the point, uh, all leader in NHL. Mike Madison is right now 47 points. All right. For all the defensemen on the top 12, Mike Madison is number 12. All right. Yeah, sign could be uh, could it be share. He just signed a new contract with uh, with Detroit. I think he's at four million dollars. By the way, Riley Dalen, Maurice, Fox, Edmund, Oz, Macau, and Hughes. All those players have a contract at six, seven, eight million dollars in the NHL. For the point they gave by money wise, uh, Vince done forty five point. Uh, Patrick, he have a contract at seven million dollars with a. With a Sardo Kraken, he has two point less of him about that. Uh, Tony Crook with the Senators Blues, only 34 point uh, uh, with minus 25. Tony Crook, uh, Tory Crook. Uh, Patrick. A, a, t a player, guys, played with a bottom five in NHL, right? The minus is not one of the most important things to consider. Um, Patrick, let's see Alex Ovenskin, Patrick. Patrick, I want to tell me something about that. Ovenskin, Patrick. All right, for everybody in the chat. Alex Ovenskin. All right. Oven skin, minus 35 with 51 gold that year. Minus 35. Oven skin this year, minus 20. Last year, minus 16. Two years before that, minus 7, minus 12. Minus 35, minus 19. So, Tell me more about this, Patrick. So how do you consider Alex Ovenskin? He's minus 20 this year. Patrick, $9 million per year. Patrick, minus 20. Alex Ovenskin. He's overrated players right now. Patrick. Uh, no, I compare uh, Patrick at uh, players with minus 32, like you just said, minus 32. I give you right now, Oven Skin, minus 16. You qualify for you, you consider a minus the most important thing stat for a uh, players. That's the reason behind that.
Anyhow, we're going to move on because uh, I think I'm going to be another direction uh, about that. Uh, Precision of the week, guys. We're going to get there. And uh, this week, guys, oof. the boss is empty on most, but the gel is looking big on that one, guys. First of all, Yamo and Gary Conway are the winner of the contest this week, guys. All the two people are going to make it all the way to the, the boss, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations about uh, Marco and, of course, Gary Conway will put this right away in the bus. Here we go, congratulations. And also for the leader of the, the year, I'm lead by two now by, in front of Yamo from 10 from NRTAP. You have the list of the people participate. But if you go at the bottom of the first row, uh, Peter August, Andy Kouivula, Steve G, and Larry Lavallee, all four, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes, they are going to be in the jail. Ladies, ladies, there are four people this rear. We have four people go to jail. And I think it's time right now to do what? Lucky up. Uh, Luc Lafortune left the building uh, for, uh, today and is out. Uh, but tonight we bring more people in the chat uh, by that. Uh, for this one. Uh, so uh, that's happening, guys, on the. Prediction of the last week uh, to get up with Baba. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Uh, so now this week, uh, we have only 11 games this week, guys. Only 11 games. That's it. That's all uh, for tomorrow. So hopefully we have a better week overall for everybody. And we wish you the best uh, for that. Um, and then we're going to go through this, guys. So this is the, the week of this, uh, by the way. On that one, the Flutter Rangers are really interesting about that game uh, tomorrow. Vancouver, Calgary. Kings versus Tampa Bay. Chicago, San Jose. <laughs> Vegas, Columbus. Islanders, Winnipeg. Boston, Flores. St. Louis, Minnesota. Nash Detroit, Nashville. Devils, Ottawa. Edmonton, Toronto. Here we go. Because if uh, I want to uh, with the jail, yeah, you got seven points last year. RJ go that way uh, tonight. Uh, this is my the result of my weeks. Uh. We wait for a couple of people. Give us your result, guys, uh, before we move on to the quiz of the night. Thanks so much for all the likes. Uh, Nicola did it. Uh, Nicola, not a bad week, so, by the way. Bob's did it to us. Uh, Ron with Kings, uh, another one right there. Some email me. Some. Um, we wait about uh, one more minute, guys, for everybody.
prepare that farm, going to prepare the And they give out uh, about that. There we go. Yep, Mo Patrick, I got you, my friend. Look, did it also. That's pretty good. Look, awesome. I'll go to that direction. I'll go to go here. And the look. Uh, super chat. Uh, thanks so much for the super chat. Uh, uh, Gary Conway. Give it to us. Uh, thanks so much, Gary. Congratulations. You and the boss uh, this week. Uh, let's move on, guys, for the quiz of the night. I'm going to go like we do every week. Uh, last week, guys, NR Tap and D. Patrick uh, Le White. Uh, and Roy, all the winners of the contest. Now, and after that, take the lead seven over um, Andy Kovila. They all uh, tied last year. I go through, I get last uh, last week uh, right. Uh, my man coach, my pick does not go through. I go to uh, send it to that one, Mr. Um, Willie. Ruan Colorado. How about that? That's all the winner, guys, on that one. Let's move on for the question number one. How many NHL players have a multiple season with 40 gold or more? At even strength, five to five. How many of them did it? A multiple season, not only one season, but at least two seasons and more. A 40 gold minimum per season, and it's at least happened twice in plus. 10 of them, 12 of them, 14 of them, 16 or 18 of them. RG so with 15 can accept both accept or that death, uh, will he? There we go. Nicola with A, Bob's with 12B, uh, Simon C, RJ with C. Uh, Patrick go with A. Claude with C. Welcome back. Claude, Claude is the guys uh, never talk a lot, but always listen. It will pop up. Uh, Claude. What is another with C? But look at what's in with B. Uh, C, B. Uh, Gary, B, B. Uh, not that, fall asleep. Uh, and not that with C. Uh, Andy with C. Roy with C. And that, that's what we got so far. Until uh, Lucien said B. There we go, guys. The owner, the first one. Oh my God! And we have to go here. Uh, many of you did it, guys. Uh, the answer is C, exactly 14. Uh, we have Simon, uh, RJ. Claude Richard, Willie Snyder, Roy, NRTAP, and AK are the winner of that one over there. Uh, Willie, you can send also your, uh, your prediction of the game uh, on, on the Facebook page, by the way. Uh, what you talk to me, uh, Willie, if you want to do that, that's not a problem. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have only nine games, Willie, uh, for that. Uh, I think you talked about last week. Anyhow, uh, not feeling lucky. About that one over there. Congratulations for question number one of the night. Uh, 
Question number two, ladies and gentlemen. Tuesday, mark the ninth time this season that San Jose allowed seven goals in a game. Since 1996, only one team has more such game in a season. Which team? So you have another team did it with at least nine times, gave seven goals, a plus, and one particular game. Which team did it since 1996? Arizona, Detroit, Anaheim, Ottawa, or the Columbus Blue Jacket? Kev, uh, is it Kev for question number one or question number two? RJ, go with B. Uh, Nicola would see. And Emrick, uh, welcome back, Emrick. Uh, Go with C. Uh, Patrick LeWhite, uh, D. Thanks so much, Patrick. Look with D. Uh, Bob with D. Round with B. We have a couple of people not there yet. We're going to get there. Cab with D. So, Cab, you have the first answer uh, tonight, right? Uh, I'll give you a point on the first answer. You said C, Cab. Uh, uh, so, game conservation. Claude with D. Andy with B. Uh, Willie with C. Gary with B. And I thought with A, Kev with two. Uh, about that, I'm not sure now. Uh, Ms. Luciano said D. Here we go. We got everybody in the chat, guys. Congratulations. Why go with C? Thanks so much. Why? Oh, my God! The answer, guy is B. The Detroit Red Wing did it. Uh, and that we gave now RG Calabro at two. Andy Kuvula at two. But uh, we have run with Kings and uh, Gary Conway scored a goal on that one. And Gav had one goal on the first question tonight. Uh, so this is what we got so far. Don't forget to click on the like before you leave the building tonight. Question number three. The Devils uh, are tied for the most penalty-free game this season with three. Which other team NHL are also achieve this feat? Arizona, San Jose, Columbus, Seattle, Minnesota. So three games they played with zero penalty. Three times this year. The only other team with the Arizona Coyotes, uh, not Arizona, with the Devils that uh, did it. Is it Arizona? Is it San Jose, Columbus, Seattle, Minnesota? Uh, right said, uh, not right, but uh, RJ said C, Bob said E, and Rick said A. But Nicola go with B. Thanks so much so far. Bob 02, Nicola 02, RG 2 and 2. And Rick, I believe, is 01. What is another go with E? What is another is 1 and 2 so far. Following by Luke said C. Luke is 00, uh, 02 right now for Luke Lafortune. And we wait for other people. Uh, we have Claude Richard at E. Claude is 02. Patrick LeWhite uh, B. Uh, San Jose, uh, run with Kings with D, Patrick is 0, uh, 2, and then run is at uh, 0, uh, 1 and 2. We have uh, Mr. Enartal go with D, Salud, 1 and 2. Luciano uh, said D also. Uh, Andy said D. 
Roy said D, Kev said E, Kevi Conoy said A. Here we go. I think we got everybody, guys, on that one. Oh my God! The answer, guy, is A. Arizona Coyotes, how the other team did not have, uh, did three times on that one over there. And on that W, on this one, guys, uh, but on Rick uh, is the only one score goal with Gary Connery, a curry. Gary Connery joined Andy Kovula and Mr. RJ, after three questions, lead with two good answers. Question number four of the night. Oh, my And the initial history, beside Alex Ovenskin, he has 19 seasons uh, with uh, 19 seasons straight uh, with 20 goals a plus uh, in NHL. Who is the only other player uh, to have score 20 goals a plus and at least 18 of the first 19 seasons alongside uh, with Brendan Shannon? So Ovenskin lead 1919. We have two players that have 18 seasons. And 19th season with at uh, least 820 goal. Is it Ron Francis, Timo Celani, Matt Sundin, Jerome Egenla, or Brad Hall? Good luck, everybody. Calado for one. Emrick, you nailed it, my friend. You take the lead over Nicola. Uh, Nicola, go with A. Uh, Bob, go with E. RJ go with D. RJ 2 and 3. Nicolas 0 3. Bob 0 3. So far, Patrick the White uh, with Brett Hall. Patrick is 0 3 also. 0 0 between, Ottawa, uh, between Arizona and Seattle. Uh, second period, by the way. Uh, Emrick go with E. Emrick is 1 and 2. Missed the first question of the night. <coughs> Uh, and Rick uh, go with uh, a quote, go with A, and Enata go with A. Claude Richard is one uh, zero, and Claude Richard is one and three, by the way, and Enata is a one and three, uh, by the way. Uh, Luc Laversen go with B. Luc is zero three. Uh, Lucien B uh, is zero three so far. Ron go with A. Cab go with A, and that's what we got so far. Uh, Willie Snyder go with B. Willie is one and three so far. Roy is one and three um, so far. We're missing Andy Kouivula. Gary Conway. Willie go with B. Gary go with C. Anybody got Andy Kouivula? I apologize. Uh, Patrick go with C. That Andy go with B. There we go, guys. We got everybody. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Now it's Ron Francis, guys, uh, uh, the winner of that question. And that gave now, guys, Kev, RJ, Claude Richard, uh, Roy, Roy, Enortat, Andy Kouvela, Gary Conway, and Ron with Kings. All of you guys are two good answer and four. You lead now, and you're going to battle for the last question of the night. Uh, and Nicolas de, uh, Nicolas de Gobi Bono have a good answer. Nicolas is one and four. For the last question of the night, guys. Good luck, everybody. Uh, we'll be at the same. We can have a multiple uh, plug win tonight. Question number five. Here we go. Sorry. Arturi Likonens. An overtime game winning on Saturday was the second time ever that the Avalanche have scored with under a second remaining in overtime. Who is the other players who did it? You have only, only other one specific player with Lekanen score with one second to go remaining and overtime. And they score the winning goal. Paul Gillis, Michel Goulet, Milan Ektuk, or Etchkuk, Matt Gishain, and David Jones. Remember David Jones? By the way, the Jones is the president of the Flowers. Good luck, everybody. Very important at the end of this one. 
Here we go. Patrick, go with uh, Goulet. Patrick is 04. Nicolas, go with uh, Paul Guinness. Uh, Nicolas, 1 and 4 uh, so far. Can he tie the game? Uh, Emric, uh, by the way, Emric, uh, he want to win. Uh, Claude Richard, go with C. Claude, is it 1 and 4. Will he go with uh, four, uh, C? 1 and 4. Run with Kings, uh, 2 and 4. C for Run for the W tonight. Uh, Luck go with A. Luck 0 and 4. Bob go with B. Uh, Bob is 0 and 4 with Luck. Uh, both of them ran out of battle for the bottom of the bottom. Go, uh, don't tell anybody. Patrick LeWhite. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Patrick, Luck, and Bob leave a good battle. We wait for other people. Uh, Patrick, uh, go with, uh, Enarta with D, and D with D, and Luciano go with B, Luciano. Uh, Kev go with B, Roy go with D, Gary gonna go with C. Uh, Emre go with C. Here we go, guys. We have everybody in the chat and make it happen. Uh, want to be sure. At some point, we got Simon, but Simon disappeared. Anyhow, guys, the last question of the night uh, for the W. Oh, my God! Can some did it? Oh, yeah. They did it again uh, with uh, Matt Duchesne, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and our tap, Roy and Andy Kuvila, all three again win the contest uh, tonight. Uh, uh, again, a uh, back to back W on the friendship quiz uh, for three of them. Uh, what a great performance again for all the three. Roy and our tap and Andy Kuvila finish with three. Unfortunately, not good enough uh, for Gary Conway, Ron with Kings, uh, Claude Richard, RJ, uh, Kev. Uh, all of you guys with two. And uh, of course, did not get the W tonight. But congratulations for the winner. <laughs> Here we go, my friend. With the winner of the contest tonight. Uh, and uh, that's it. That's all. Uh, and hopefully you enjoyed the show tonight. Uh, one and four for Enric. Yeah, you missed the final. Patrick, Luke Laporte, and Bob. So all you guys and five tonight. Uh, who is on oh my God? Guy was uh, where uh, and B20 question. Uh, don't forget, guys, to, quick, uh, to click on the likes uh, before you leave the building. We'll be back only Sunday night. Uh, if I'm back tomorrow, guys, we'll be in Edmonton, Toronto. But I'm not guaranteed I'll be there. Uh, but if I'm done, if I'm doing, we'll be at 7 o'clock p.m. What if I open my soul? Sorry about that. A little bit too loud. But uh, this concludes the show tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I think it was a great conversation. A lot of people participate tonight. Uh, don't forget to click on the likes. We appreciate to see each one of you. Enjoy the beginning of the weekend uh, for each one of you. Whatever what you do, please do it with uh, with some kind of safety. I look forward to seeing you until the next time. Until then, my friend, well, I want to tell you one more thing. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness instead of you no pineapple anymore here we go guys this concludes the show tonight uh, a great time to be with us we want to thank the super shot of uh, rick bengal tonight laval rocket win for the score 3-2 tonight and may you rebacker score a goal for them a uh, great uh, start of the career for david rebacker and nhl and then after that we want to remind everybody guys uh, of course, uh, uh, be well, be held, find a way, not only dominate your day, but find a way to dominate the first half of what? Uh, Nicola? Nicola said 2024. 11-11, uh, guys. Uh, I like those numbers, 11-11. Uh, thanks again for joining me live tonight. Uh, and of course, the Arcan Nation, the Ad Nation, want to tell you one more thing. We love you, people. And I'm missing a great weekend, guys. Look forward to seeing you until the next time. Be safe. And of course, uh, I expect, uh, well, I don't expect, hopefully, you're going to be back uh, next time we turn on the switch. Uh, have a great night, everybody.
Thanks, Woody. Thanks, Bob. Nicola, merci beaucoup. Woody, Audrey. Three games and three nights for the Laval Rocket. Patrick Le White, merci beaucoup, mon homme. Andy Kouiboula, congratulations, my friend. Roy, have a good day. Gary Conroyer, have a good night, buddy. Ron, enjoy your rest of your night. And Rick, see you next time. Mon Luc La Fortune, ce soit une très belle soirée, mon homme. Oh, 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 oh. Booyah! 